Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. So now we're going to do a review of Aliens Bug Hunt. And as you can tell if you've been watching our channel, we're a fan of aliens and of Alien. Yep. So hopefully you've, you've seen our playthrough and how to play. That was fun. Yes, and so you're going to see that reflected in our, our how to play and playthrough here. So let me give you a little bit of context first so you understand what we're talking about. So really this is a dungeon crawl and this is where we left off uh, when we played it on the, on the uh, playthrough. So we have two squads here and all the aliens basically if they escape you lose or if you can't generate aliens when you draw a tracking card. So it's a race to complete three objectives and we were close to completing them. Yep. We were one away but we lost when we couldn't uh, generate any more aliens because too many escaped. So the game, you know, works when you, you draw phase cards. So if your color squad comes up, you move, you could do uh, actions, you can move and then you can attack or pick up objectives or uh, reload. Reload. So I, I had one grunt that didn't make it. And so you have to, when you fire here, you, 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 uh, you can attack so many aliens depending on how many bullets that you have and you roll it. And so, wow, if that was in my square, I'd take one wound and the alien would survive. But if I were to get blank slide, uh, sides, they would uh, be destroyed. So then that person would have activated and you can fire as many guys as you want at aliens in your square or adjacent squares. And so when you deplete them, you got to reload. And then as you see on the board here, you can move around and then you have to uh, uh, remove barriers. Uh, and then they'll spawn in different squares. So, you know, it's really interesting. That's a dungeon crawl version of aliens. And as they phase the hive marker moves up here, that's when aliens will, will attack and move and also spawn. And so Julie was playing, uh, I was playing Hicks, I think. Yeah. You were playing Hicks. Yeah. And so we were one, basically. If you watched the playthrough, we were, we were close to winning. We really were. And we lost, but then I said, well, what would have happened if we would have had enough aliens to generate? Well, we would have won. We would have won. If, if there wasn't so many aliens that got away. But we had too many of those slimy suckers that got away. Yes. So the way we do uh, reviews here, uh, Julie comes up with her reasons, mm -hmm. and I come up with mine, and I, uh, she doesn't know what I'm going to say. And then we share our rating. So let's yep. start with Julie. Okay. So... I thought this was a very fun cooperative dice game and I love dice games and cooperative games. So this was like such a happy day for me to play this game because it's the best of both worlds for me. I love it. <laughs> I also love that it's easy to play. Once David taught me how to move things, I had it all down. I didn't have to ask for help. It was super, super easy. Um, the plus or minus, you know, it's neutral is I really like seeing the pictures of the real people from the movies. Whereas this one, it's um, art, which is fine. It's really good art. It's just, I'd rather see the real people, but now it's that, just me. No, this is just to say some people actually do prefer this as I've mentioned I know. to you before. And I, and I res yeah. totally respect yeah. that. And I, what I love is everyone can have something that they like. You can that's good. But for me, I just, that's what I prefer. Um, what I really liked is that it doesn't take too long to play. Um, we can knock this out within what, 25 minutes? 30 well, minutes? I think uh, 30 minutes, I took longer on camera cause I was explaining it. Right. But if you weren't explaining it, yeah. it goes super and, and fast. And not switching cameras. We could have been <clears throat> done in 30 minutes yeah. for sure. And then the only drawback is, and granted, as you may or may not know, I don't read the rule books. He does. But I said that it was negative for too many rule books because look at all the rule books he had to read. And then that's what delayed us playing. And so that was my negative. If it was just one rule book, I, I wouldn't have put that down. But there's four things he had to keep looking up through to find questions. I would answers to questions I might come up with. And so that was kind of a downer. But um, that's it. It's my only negative. Yeah. So I'll, uh, what a surprise that I'll be mentioning that oh. in mind. Uh, <laughs> well, I figured I, you would because you're a rule book master. <laughs> if I haven't, <laughs> usually I would say something about what that, but it's going to be a big part of my review. Well, it's only a smidgen of mine. So let's take a look at that. Yeah. What do you have to say, sir? All right. So it scratches the itch if you want to kill xenomorphs. 
without being too complex. Now, as Burke says, they are a species here, and we shouldn't extinct them, you know, uh, uh, destroy them. Mm -hmm. And what do they say? Somebody says a certain word, you know, that. Yeah. Anyways, in the movie, <laughs> right? So we're not going to say that word. You saw us review uh, another glorious day in the core. Mm -hmm. If you want to play a tactical miniature game and uh, take a lot of time and plan things out, uh, but it could take an hour and a half. That would be the one to do. That's the one to play yeah. if you want to experience that. But this, it is, it's, it's just the right amount of complexity and gives you the feel for it. But you know, uh, it does lack some thematic depth. So I'm skipping ahead to the third <laughs> one there. Because when you're looking at it here, I mean, the tiles are just tiles. Yeah. It's, it doesn't look like uh, the, doesn't look like the, space. the maps that you would see in the movies. Right, right. I mean, it simulates it, so it's connected, but it's not, you know, it's not as thematically yeah. in-depth. And then that's true. Uh, the aliens are dice, so that right there, you know, that's not very thematic either. <laughs> yeah, now, but I like rolling the dice, so. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it is what, so it's a trade-off, right? Yeah. Uh, if you want to play something quicker, that gives you the feeling of it, but doesn't have all the bells and whistles mm -hmm. you would play another glorious day in the core right but then you have to put together the miniatures that's what you did yeah you're so good uh so it's fun and challenging cooperative dungeon crawl so we like the fact that it's cooperative yes i don't know of any modes that anybody has proposed to do a, a, a game master or player versus player maybe they have i just haven't noticed and i probably wouldn't like that very much yeah and then it's awful rule books i mean this is just a terrible idea <laughs> they have four rule books that That's you give crazy. to, so you have to play with four players because each player is supposed to get a rule book. So I had to read all four. And then it does this awful uh, referencing, give this to the masters, I mean, give this to the intel sergeant. The intel sergeant will do this. Well, it's just referencing something I don't care about because I just need to know how to play the game. Right. I don't need to know who's going to do what, especially if you're not playing with four players. And believe so, me, I heard all these complaints when he was yeah. reading. And I don't blame him. We're not the only one. So then when it comes to referencing setup, I had to look at three, you know, three different areas mm -hmm. for setup. And while we were playing, I knew what portions of the rule book to have open. Thank goodness, yeah. Uh, what I had right here in front of me. But when it I had still to took time stuff. for you to look at all of it when I'd ask you a question. And it yeah. took away from the, the um, what do you call it, momentum. Yeah, of, that's a good way to game. put it. Yeah, it, momentum. it took away from the momentum. So it's inconsistent art, and it's a minus. Now, Upper Deck has, has done this with Legendary as well. Oh. It's just, it's interesting, their art direction. I don't know if, it's, if they're doing the Magic the Gathering thing, whether they're just hiring different artists to work on the same game. So let's, let's just take a look at that. I mean, I think this art looks good, okay? This looks like yeah. Legendary. Oh, oh yeah. You've played Marvel I Legendary. Have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then look at here. I mean, look at the boards. That looks like 1980s style Doom. Like... If, like it's uh, VGA 256 <laughs> colors, maybe even EGA 16 colors. Now, some people are thinking, what is he talking about? I for those no of you who have been playing video games for a long time, and you went from CGA, four colors, and then, oh, you got excited when you got a 16-color graphics card. And then you went to VGA, which is 256, and then Super VGA, which was thousands of colors, and now they have millions of colors. The only reason why okay. I know about that is because I've done shareware games back then. Uh, we actually, uh, a friend of... Uh, mine, we actually were hired by a company that worked with id Software to do some stuff. Oh, right. I remember so that was yeah. in the days when I almost went that route of, of digital game design. Uh, so that's why I know about a little bit about computer oh, graphics. Gotcha. But anyways, yeah, it, it's just inconsistent. And if you look at the tiles here, I mean, it works. Now, supposedly this is the APC here or it's the drop ship. I can't really... We couldn't I, figure it out. It's weird. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the drop ship there. Now I finally see it. After oh. a, how many hours of playing it, and this is the, this is the complex, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I finally see it. Okay. After all this time. Now, some people might be looking at, well, we saw it right away. Well, that's cool if you did. That's but, awesome if you did. Because we, <laughs> we could did. not figure finally, it out after till right now. all this time, yep. I finally see it right here. But for, it took me a while to say, what the heck is this showing? <laughs> so anyway, uh, back to... The review so it's kind of uh but those things other than the rule book this is what might turn off some people now there is somebody on bgg that has combined all the rule books into one oh nice you, you could learn from it now i haven't evaluated that 
but it does look better than this. Oh, it okay. has to be it, but one thing over four, I mean, yeah. come on. So I don't know who that person was uh, that did that, that's, but I'm sure it's going to help you if you want to go to that. Good. Uh, rather than using what it came with. Yeah. All right, so here's our ratings. We do the BGG ratings, the one through 10. Okay. So here we go. Woo, we both said seven. Well, you said seven and a half. Oh, I did say seven and a half, yeah. yes. So for me, I'm usually willing to play. So if we want to, to play a quicker uh, Alien Aliens game, game this mm -hmm. is the one to go to. Yeah. Okay. If we want to play a more complex one and go through the campaigns and have it play out like the movies, we play Another Glorious Day in the Core. Uh, however, you haven't played the Leading Edge version. That's one from the 1980s that we're going to play. Okay. Uh, and so we'll, we're going to evaluate all these Aliens games at once, and then we'll, uh. and then you'll know. And then you haven't played the, uh, the legendary Marvel, Le the legendary mm -hmm. Encounters Aliens one. So we got to play that. So after you play those two ones, you haven't played yet. Then we'll do a video and ask. We'll, we'll look at which one would we play. Or okay. the others and in what situations. But you liked it slightly better than, than I did. Me. Well, it's because, again, it was dice and it was cooperative. And those are my two biggest pluses in, in a game. I just, I love when we can do kill things, <laughs> not just kill things, but, <laughs> but do things together as a team. And hey, when there's dice involved, I'm a happy little camper. I really, I really yeah, like the dice. Yeah, you like the dice. dice. And, you know, and, but it can be frustrating. You you weren't rolling that well. That's true. And, I wasn't. But, but it did come back. I mean, you can have be really unlucky, but usually the odds will come you back. You weren't rolling real well either at times. So we both. That's why we lost so many aliens, and that's why we lost because yes. we really stuck. So <laughs> really there is. Stunk but, at rolling. but the other games have luck factors too. You're drawing from a deck. True. Or you're rolling uh, combat dice. So all the aliens games are are luck based. Yeah. Uh, whether or not this has more luck than the others, that's something to think about. No, no, no. And I don't. I, I can only talk about the ones we've played. I don't know those other ones that David's talked about. So. Well, I don't remember the legend. I mean, the uh, leading deck one, leading edge one enough. I got to mm -hmm. play it again. But when we do play it, I actually <laughs> printed it out uh, two hundred percent. That way, I was able to use WizKids uh, aliens figures. Okay. Okay. So the scale. Uh, is a lot bigger when we play it. And we're gonna is it going to fit on this table? Well, we're going to have a hard time fitting it. Anyway, so look, I hope you look forward to that. <laughs> so uh, that's our review. So uh, please check out our other videos and the how to, to play in the playthrough of this. Oh, thank you so much for watching. We hope you had fun and, and you know, maybe decided one way or another on this game by our review. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Take All care. Right, bye bye. bye.